question is, what is Moodle? I teach face-to-face, -face, but would like to use Moodle to just welcome my students and upload a syllabus. Can I do that with Moodle at College of Marin? And the answer is, sure you can. In less than 15 minutes, we'll take a quick introductory tour of Moodle, modify the weekly dates on your course page, and set up a welcome area for your students with your syllabus available for reading or download. Moodle is a learning management system, or LMS, that was developed in Australia by Martin Dugiamas. He began his schooling on the Outback using shortwave radio and bi-weekly airplane drops of paperwork to communicate with his school of the air. From that start, he took up computer science and education studies towards a PhD and developed Moodle, an open source product based on constructivist models of teaching and learning. Moodle, which stands for Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment, can be used to deliver fully functional courses as well as to enrich face-to-face -face traditional classroom environments through various individual and collaborative activities. Let's get started. Log on to MyCon. Select the Distance Education tab from the top of your page. And from the Moodle link or the logo, open your Moodle page. The course content is in the middle of the page, with functional blocks on each side. You may move the blocks around, add blocks, and delete all but the Activities block on the right and the Navigation and Settings blocks on the left. From the navigation block on the left side of the page, expand My Courses by clicking either on the words My Courses or on the right facing arrow. You will see a list of courses available to you. Click on the number or name of the course on which you would like to work. The first time you access your Fall 2012 course page, you will see that the course content weekly outline in the center of the page begins on Wednesday, 22 August, which is the actual first day of classes. And the weeks that follow run naturally from Wednesday through Tuesday. But you may want to modify those dates to display weeks that begin on Monday. So let's set the dates for the first week to begin on Monday, August 20th. On the left side of the page, under the Navigation block, is the Settings block. The Settings block is contextual. As we are working on the course, the Settings block displays the selections for course administration, including an option where you may turn editing on. The icon of the hand with the pencil represents the availability of editing options. But before we begin editing content, let's modify the dates. So click on Edit Settings for a new display of options. You will see that many options include a little yellow circle with a black question mark. This circle expands to display more detail about the option. For even more information, Scroll to the bottom of any page for a yellow circle with the small letter I for information. Clicking on that contextual link will open pages at the Moodle.org website. Those pages will provide the latest information about the page on which you are working. As we are currently using Moodle version 2.2, the links will also show that version number on the top right of the page. Back to our settings. At the moment, we are concerned with dates. We will skip through the first three entries, the course full and short names and course number, which are already set, and the course summary text box content that is useful during searches from the home page. The format choice is set by default to weekly, but also includes SCORM format for commercially prepared packages, a social format for displaying a discussion forum, expanded or condensed topics, and finally, the weekly format. 
If you traditionally organize your class by weeks rather than topics, this is the format for you. There is also an option for selecting the number of sections or containers for your course content. By default, our pages are set for 18 weeks, but you can modify that to show between 0 and 52 weeks or topics. Also by default, our fall course's start date is set to the actual first day of class, Wednesday, 22 August. So, if we want to modify those dates to display weeks that begin on Monday, use the drop-down list to change the date to 20. You will notice that clicking on any of the three list arrows for date, month, or year will display a helpful pop-up calendar with its own navigational arrows. Once you have selected the start date as 20 August, that is it, almost. Scroll back down to the bottom of the page and click on Save Changes. If you do not select Save Changes on every page you modify, the changes won't happen. When you click on Save Changes, you are brought back to your weekly outline and you see that the first weekly section is appropriately labeled 20 August to 26 August. That is a Monday through Sunday class week. Now you want to welcome your students and post the syllabus. To make any changes to the content of your course site, you must first turn editing on. You can always find that button at the top right of the page under your name and the language pack selection. By the way, the default language setting is English, which is Australian English, and that includes slight differences in spelling. Each user has the opportunity to select their default language from three other choices. You have also seen the Turn Editing On off option in the settings block in the course administration section along with the editing icon. From either location turn editing on and your page provides numerous editing tools. We will go directly to the first section of the course content area to welcome students and add the syllabus. Click on the icon of the hand with the pencil the editing icon to modify the general section. By default, this section is not named. I usually start a course with welcome. So let's uncheck the box for default blank name and type welcome. No worries if you forget to uncheck the box, you will not be able to type until you uncheck it and that will prompt you to remember to go back and uncheck the box. Now, save changes. You will see that your section has been named Welcome. Hmm, what else do you want to say here? Perhaps you just want to provide some basic information about what is available here. Let us edit a bit more. Click on the editing icon again and type in the box, something like in this course, we will learn how to welcome students, modify the dates, and add a syllabus to a Moodle site. My favorite writing color is blue, so I will select the text and use the basic editor to change the color to blue and bold a few items. You can see there are many other text formatting possibilities. Save the changes. Now, let's add the syllabus. You need to have your syllabus on your computer. It is recommended that you keep your document in its original format for editing later, but then also create a PDF file that all students will be able to read no matter their operating system or access method. Note that your original should be completely accessible in accordance with Section 508 ADA requirements before you convert it to a PDF. Adding a file to the site is similar to attaching a document to email. You need to know where the file is located on your computer and upload it to the site. So, from the Add Resource drop-down menu, choose File.
file. In the name box, title the document to let your students know what it is. I call this one Welcome Section Syllabus. You can use the description area to give instructions to the students to encourage them to view the syllabus. For example, click on the title to view the course syllabus. Check the box to display the description on the course page. Now, add the file to the page. Click on Add. From the file picker, choose Upload a File. Click on the Browse button to locate the file on your computer. And you will see the location in the attachment box. Click in the Save As text box to name the file. Change the author name if necessary. Choose a license and click on Upload this file. You will see the file name and type displayed on the page. Now you can choose how you want the students to see it and whether the name and description should be displayed along with the file. We will use automatic and display the name only. Here you can set the dates for access. And since this is the syllabus, presumably you want it available for the entire term. You do not need to change any settings here unless you need to specify dates. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the page, click on Save and Return to Course, and see what we did. Now turn editing off to get a good view of the page. As students run their mouse or pointer over the page, links will be activated. But the instructions to click will also be helpful to some students. When the title of the syllabus is clicked, it will open automatically, with options available depending on the student setup. In this case, I can print, save, or email this file. To move back to your course homepage, use the words in white, called breadcrumbs, at the top of the screen or the navigation block on the left. So, you have modified the way the weekly dates are displayed on your page, welcomed your students, and added a syllabus to your Moodle site. If you have any questions or would like more assistance, remember, you can contact Moodle Help from your home page to request support, whether you are working with a completely online class or enhancing your face-to-face -face class. Want to know more about Moodle options available to you? Subscribe to this channel to be notified of upcoming videos.